What's going on guys? John Elder here from CourseSurvey.com and in this episode I want to talk about the new instructor dashboard at Udemy. Alright, welcome to the Daily Udemy Income Report, the show where I talk about making money on Udemy, walk you through what's working for me, and teach you how to do the same thing. My name is John Elder from CourseSurvey.com and today is Tuesday, March 12th, 2019. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the new instructor dashboard they just rolled out yesterday at Udemy. We've talked about this in the past where they had the, the beta prototype, but now it's live. We see the actual final result, and we'll take a few minutes to take a look at it and see what I like, what I don't like, mostly what I don't like, and, uh, and talk about that. But before we get started, let's look at yesterday's numbers. Yesterday was the 11th. We had 10 courses sold, not very good, but it came to $54.58 which shook out to $5.46 a course. Does that seem right? Yep. <laughs> Refunds to date, we got an extra refund bopped up for $17.28. Seven reviews, we'll take a look at those in a minute. And so that's good. Now this looks like a decent number for only 10 courses sold, but one of those courses sold for like $26. So my cut was like 14 bucks, which is terrible as you've, probably know if you watch this show regularly, anytime that happens, the person almost always asks for a refund like a week later, because every once in a while, Udemy just doesn't use promo codes, and they sell the course at more of a, a realistic price, $30 or so. And when people buy them, a week later, they figure out, hey, you can always get a course for 10 bucks. Why did I just pay 30? And they get a refund. It happens almost every time. So <laughs> we'll keep an eye on that and see if it happens this time. Month to date, $723.35, 158 courses sold, 73 reviews, promotional activity, $20.80. That's just random stuff that came in out of the blue. You know, I've got a website, johnelder.com forward slash, forward slash Udemy that lists all my courses with coupon codes. So if somebody stumbles on that website and clicks on one of those links uh, or sees one of my videos on YouTube and clicks the link, that's usually where those come from. Total enrollment, 119018 Average rating stayed the same at 4.53. So very quickly, taking a look at my profile page, udemy.com forward slash user forward slash John Elder 3, we have 48,691 students, 38 courses, and 2783 reviews. This new Node course still has the new badge instead of the hot and new badge. Uh, like I said, usually I think you have to have 10 or 12 reviews uh, in order to for it to be the hot and new. And which I do, and those reviews have to be above a 4.5, I think, something like that, which these are. So I'm not sure why this is still a new and not a hot and new, so we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, taking a look at the next page, we see that this Django course is still the highest rated. Uh, this Steam course is still the highest rated, but we don't care about that. It doesn't bring in any money. So that's cool. Uh, now taking a quick look at the reviews, and you can see right off the bat, this is the new instructor dashboard that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. But before we do that, let's take a look at the reviews. And I got to search around. I think it's in performance. Yeah, and then reviews. You can see right off the bat, this is much harder to navigate than the old system. It's just sort of ridiculous. So we had, let's see, this one was from this morning. Five stars from Brittany. Four stars. Five stars. Five provided the refresher I needed. Awesome. Five stars. Four stars, four stars, five stars, and I think that's pretty much it. Yep. So reviews are looking pretty good today. Nothing much to really comment on. So now for the rest of this episode, I want to look at this new Udemy instructor dashboard. It is just god awful. I don't know who designed it, but they are bad at designing things. Like right here performance. There's a whole other tab. I have to click on this and go to this page in order to see the next set of things. Course engagement, traffic and conversion, reviews, and the number of students. That's just not, not very good. They could have this all, when I hovered over this performance, these could pop up underneath it like any other menu you've ever seen, but no, they make it harder for you. You click on tools, now look at this. For tools, the only thing here, nobody does a test video. If you're a very first time instructor, you might submit a test video, but there's no need to. It's completely useless. 
Nobody uses this. The only thing in tools worth looking at is this Marketplace Insights. Why didn't they just make Marketplace Insights on this menu? Why do we need a sub-menu to go when there's only one real item? It's ridiculous. Well, maybe in the future they'll, they'll roll out more tools. Who knows? But, you know, it's just not very good. So Marketplace Insights, okay. Performance communication. Again, here's another sub-menu. And this is the communication system. When students send you an email or comment on your course within the course, it pops up here. And it's just, it's not very good. It's just all crammed in here. I can barely read this. Like, I got to seriously scroll sideways. It's just dumb. Like, uh, And then here, this is my, my biggest pet peeve, the courses section. Right? Okay, it lists all the courses. That's fine. But in the old system, there was a summary at the top, and it showed your revenue to date. It showed a bunch of other stuff that was useful to look at at a glance. It doesn't have that now. So if I want to see how much money I've earned to date, I have to go to the revenue report. Well, where is it? It's not on this menu at all. You got to go back over here and click on revenue report. And then you got to go down to the current month and then you get the old revenue report. You know, it's just dumb. <laughs> like, this is a bad system. I don't know who designed this. Now, they say that they're listening to feedback and stuff, but as far as I can tell, they're not really listening to feedback. Um, they're tweaking things here and there. I've, I've seen some instructors say, I sent support an email saying they should do this and this, and they did it. You know, okay, maybe that happened, but I'm not seeing really a whole lot of change in this system in the basic layout. And this this sort of uh, color scheme, if we go to, let's see, resources, this is the new instructor community. If we click on this, you know, it, it sort of has this same feel. It's the same colors. Um, if you click on one of these, but even, even this, it's not really, I mean, it's the same logos and color scheme, but this is all Centered. This is all the focus of this is on this bar that's on the left screen. The focus of this is sort of at the top. You know, it's just it's not consistent. It's just bad. I don't know who designed this or why. And frankly, I don't know why they needed to redesign it. The old system worked perfectly well. Everything was on one screen. If I wanted to go to reviews from this main courses page, there was a link right at the top for reviews. I just click on it. Boom, you're there. I didn't have to hunt down and go to performance and then wait and get this next minute and then hit reviews. And then, you know, it's just dumb. Now, this thing is sticking up the whole time. Like, why does this need to be here now? I'm here. I'm at reviews. Like, why doesn't this disappear? And so this expands to the whole screen so I don't have to squint to look at this stuff. It's just weird. I don't, I don't understand it. So I am not a fan of the new instructor dashboard. I think it is very stupid. I think it is a waste. I don't think it has any sort of benefit, except now it's harder to find the information you want, and it takes more steps. You have to click on more things to get anywhere. So I have no idea what's going on with this thing. Apparently, they're sticking with it. So we'll see. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So this morning, I sent out an email to all of the people that have taken a JavaScript course of mine. And I offered them this new node course at a discount. Um, as of right now, nobody has taken a, me up on that offer, but I sent it out like a half an hour ago. So it may not even have gone out yet completely. So I'll monitor it throughout the day. And then probably tomorrow we'll look at the results and see how it did. We'll see what it was, how what it looked like, the text that I use and all that good stuff. So that's it for today's report. If you like this episode, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel. And be sure to check out CourseTherapy.com for more tips, tricks, and online course awesomeness. My name is John Elder from CourseTherapy.com. We'll see you again tomorrow morning.